Hi everyone, I'm Anouk Heather Rayson, fertility physician and doctor mom, and here to educate on fertility. This week I actually had a different video planned, but with the release of the COVID vaccine, um, many questions on its use in pregnancy and lactating women, and our society is coming out this week with recommendations on the COVID vaccine, I felt like we had to do a video on this topic today. So let's dive into this topic. <music> For some people, the decision to get the vaccine might be an easy one, but because there was no testing done in pregnant and lactating women, the decision can be a little bit more difficult in this patient population. This is really an individualized decision between you and your healthcare provider, but I'm going to go over some of the benefits of giving the vaccine, some of the risks, what our societies are recommending, and how the vaccine works in hopes that this will help you with making the decision also. So let's start with how the vaccine works. The COVID vaccine is a mRNA vaccine. So how this works is mRNA is a gene sequence. This will go into our cells and it will be translated by our cells into a protein called the spike protein, which resembles COVID. It will be released from our cells and then recognized by our immune system as a foreign body. Our immune system will then produce antibodies against it. So it's normal with an immune reaction to have certain side effects like fever, muscle aches, these type of things. The mRNA will degrade very quickly, so it will not last in our body for a long period of time. And the important point to also take away is that this is not a live virus, so there is no way to get COVID from this vaccination. The benefits of getting the COVID vaccine is to help prevent COVID. It is a dangerous condition and it is more serious in pregnant patients. Pregnant patients are five times more likely to end up in the ICU or on a ventilator compared to non-pregnant patients. And pregnant patients are at increased risk of death compared to non-pregnant patients of the same age. The vaccine is about 95% effective in preventing getting the infection. And as the rate is increasing in the community, our risk of getting it is increasing also. Getting the vaccination will not only protect you, but it will also protect those around you. Risks of the COVID vaccine is that it was not tested in pregnant women. It was tested in about 20,000 people and there were no serious side effects, but it was not tested in pregnant women. So some of the things that we don't know are, is it perhaps less effective in pregnant women or are there specific concerns in pregnant women? We just don't have data on some of these things. Normal side effects to experience after the vaccination are muscle aches, fatigue, uh, injection site soreness, headaches, and fever. About 1% of people experienced a high fever over 102. We do worry about fever in early pregnancy for risk of congenital defects or miscarriage, but I think with the vaccination, the chance of having a persistent high fever is overall low, so I think the chances of these type of risks are also low. The FDA issued an emergency use authorization for the use of the COVID vaccine in anyone over the age of 16 due to the serious nature of COVID, but there were no specific recommendations in pregnant women, and this was because it wasn't tested in pregnant women. So this is more the nature of it being new and untested in this patient population, not necessarily a specific concern in this patient population. Our societies came out this week, December of 2020, with recommendations, and they are all in agreement. So the Society of Maternal Fetal Medicine, the American College of OBGYN, and the American Society of Reproductive Medicine all agree the vaccine should not be withheld from pregnant and lactating women. And if you're unsure to have a discussion with your healthcare provider, the decision to get the vaccine or not get the vaccine is an individual decision between you and your healthcare provider, and we are going to support it no matter what. And having a discussion with your healthcare provider is another opportunity to go over all the other things that you can do to help prevent getting the infection, such as mask, hand hygiene, and social distancing. In conclusion, I would recommend, number one, learn as much as you can about COVID and about the vaccine. Number two, understand that COVID causes more harm in pregnancy. Number three, understand the risks of the vaccine and that they are thought to be overall small, but not completely known. Number four, assess your own individual risk. If you are a healthcare provider on the front lines exposed to COVID or in a community where there's a high rate of COVID, it may make more sense to get the vaccine. Number five, if you are unsure, please meet with your healthcare provider to make the decision that's best for you. Number six, it is your personal choice and we will support it no matter what. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a like, subscribe down below. If you have comments or questions, please leave them for me there also. Thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next video.